The following video describes how to set up the various parameters on a dust check sequence controller with Delta P control facility. To establish if you have a Delta P controller, look for two pneumatic connections on the side of the controller connected internally with plastic pipe. If they exist, you have a Delta P controller. If they are not present, you do not have a Delta P controller, and this video is not applicable. Please view the non Delta P video instead. The controller has 13 functions, with 12 that have parameters that can be user set. I will go through each one in turn. Controllers supplied with dust filters are factory preset for the unit supplied. Changes are not normally required. However, there may be an instance where the process allows a change, or the controller has been supplied as a replacement. The controller has a keypad consisting of keys A, B and C, and a three-digit display, which are used in conjunction with each other to access, view, adjust and store the controller settings. You access the settings menu by pressing key C. Pressing C again scrolls through the available functions. The functions are labelled as F01, F02 etc. And their purpose is listed on the instruction leaflet enclosed with the controller. Once the desired selection is displayed, press A to view the current settings and make any changes. Use keys A and C to adjust the setting up or down. Once the value required is displayed, press B to store the value. If you have completed all the changes, pressing B again puts the controller into operating mode. To make further changes to other settings, press C until the desired function is displayed and A to start changes. Please be aware, the controller will revert to operating mode after 5 minutes of inactivity on the keypad. Let's now go through each function and setting in turn. Since the controller requires a power supply during the setting operation, extreme care should be taken to avoid contact with live terminals. Function F01 is to allow the controller to stop and start via an external signal using terminals 12 and 13, or 14 and 15, or all four. The normal factory setting is 1, which ignores any external signal. Setting to 0 allows this signal to be used. F02 sets the period in seconds for the duration of the valve opening. For most dust filters, this is set to 0.1. F03 sets the time interval between firing the solenoids and is often set to 15 seconds. F04 is set to the number of solenoid valves to be activated. It allows any number up to the maximum the controller can handle. F05 provides the facility to have the controller run through a series of cleaning cycles after the air mover has stopped and no airflow exists through the filter unit. If this facility is required, function F01 should also be set to zero and a connection is required on terminals 12 and 13 to provide the signal. F06 is used for testing and diagnostics and has no setting facility. It allows you to select a particular valve and force it to activate. F07 sets the mode of operation for the controller. It can operate without Delta P control where the setting is zero. If Delta P control is required, set this to one. F08 allows the output voltage to be selected. This should be set to the input voltage of the solenoid valve, normally 24 volts. F09 is used to reset the internal pressure sensor to zero and is used if and when there is no airflow through the filter unit and a reading other than zero is shown on the display. F10 sets the differential pressure, delta P, which, when reached, stops the cleaning cycle. This is only in effect after the start cleaning cycle is initiated on function F11. This is normally set to 0.85 kPa. F11 works in conjunction with F10 and is the differential pressure, delta P, that starts the cleaning cycle. This is normally set to 1.1 kPa. F12 is used to set the differential pressure that, once reached, will trigger the alarm contacts and is normally set to 1.5 kPa. This indicates the media is due for replacement or there is a cleaning or process issue. Finally. F13 defines the type of signal that will be used to provide the external signal to stop and start the controller. If this facility is required, 
function F01 should also be set to zero, and a connection is required on terminals 14 and 15 to provide the signal. Setting this to zero allows the signal to be provided by a pressure switch, setting it to one for a normal open and closed signal, say from a PLC. For further information on any of DustCheck's products, please get in touch.